All right, welcome back to another episode of our Nostalgia Run playthrough of Guild Wars 1 Prophecies. We made it last episode from Sanctum K. We were joined by a special guest. If you didn't watch that video, please go watch that. It's awesome. <laughs> anyway, we got to, <laughs> we finished the mission and then we got to Am the Amnoon, Amnoon Oasis and made it to our very uh very important area called augury rock it'll become more important later on but this is kind of the staging area for our ascension and uh we discovered last episode that we are actually chosen to fulfill fulfill a prophecy hence the name prophecies right uh but uh, once we arrived here, we picked up some quests, and our favorite quests to do, which are these skill quests, uh, going to be unlocking some new skills that I'm not really familiar with. Like, I don't really, I think I remember Arcane Conundrum. I don't remember Swirling Aura. Uh, we got some cool skills we're going to take up, and more importantly, some experience. Uh, so anyway, let's pick up some henchmen. We got, uh, we got a second healer. But as we learned, thanks to some comments, yeah, we, we, we haven't extended our uh, party size to eight yet. So yeah, I'm going to follow some advice in the comments by uh, our good buddy Tar Heel. Shout out. Uh, he, he recommended that we do not actually go to healers because it's a little bit of an overkill with only six members. But I do want to try out the Protector Henchman. I think she's going to be pretty cool to use instead of Elysia. We'll see. We'll test it out. Um, I will use the Cultist and I will use the Archer. Yeah. I like the Fighter Henchman now because he does have some uh, party-wide armor boosts, which should help our our survivability a little bit. So anyway, uh, goal this episode, we're going to be doing some quests. And hopefully getting to the next mission area. Anyway, let's hit it. Um, do we want to? You know what I? You know what I kind of want to do this episode is I want to figure out a way to use this shield. That would be pretty cool to do. We need um one more. We need one more uh point in fast casting to be able to use it. Let's see if we can move some stuff around. Let's just take. Let's just do that. Oh, that was easy. We took one point away from inspiration and now we're gonna rock this shield it's a anniversary shield of fortitude i need to put in a um another mod inscription into it later we're in prophecy so actually we cannot get inscriptions from weapons that was added later i think in either factions or nightfall um but yeah we're gonna we're gonna keep rocking our fragility build too so it should give us some more survivability, some more health. Not we're gonna take a we're gonna take a shot to energy, but I think we'll still be okay here. All right, what do we need to do first? First, we need to slay some minotaurs. We actually need to go back to this prophet's path. It should be pretty fast because we just need to kill. We need to slay. We need to avoid the K word, don't we? Uh, we need to slay some ten of them, so it should be pretty fast. There's tons of them out here. That guy had some cool armor. Did you see that? Um, uh, maybe not that cool. Never mind. I'm glad I found some extra time today to play. Uh, been needing to squeeze it in at the end of my busy week, but today is a little bit of free time. I'm making use of it, playing some, playing some Guild Wars. Pretty cool looking shield. I, yeah, I'm not, I'm. I'm not disappointed in the design of it. I think it looks all right. Kind of fits the purplish color of it fits our mesmer uh, class. So let's let's see if it makes a difference. Oh, I didn't get off the epidemic. Too bad. So what does she use? She uses Aegis, which is a nine seconds. All party members have a 50% chance to block attacks. That's going to be really nice for this area, seeing as there are a lot of like um, warrior enemies, like these minotaurs, some ranger enemies. 
Gonna be nice. Protective spirit, that's a nice one. Classic protection monk skill. Makes you only take 10% max health as damage. Very nice damage mitigation. Oops, didn't need to use Epidemic that time. Alright, that's two of them down. Eight more to go. Let's just hold down control and we're going uh, Minotaur hunting. I wonder why it's telling us to go to this specific area, though. Let's, uh, yeah, let's let's take out, check out that specific area. Maybe there's something over there. Yeah, the devourers are all rangers, and they use traps, which is really annoying. Uh, as we discovered last episode, they really ramped up the difficulty going from the mainland, like, in Krita to the desert. It's just, like, everything's over level 20 already. Like, crazy difficulty up, uh, increase. Oh, we need to around this way it looks like the traps are annoying because they could be anywhere but as long as you can get an attack off on on the um while they're like channeling that trap it's an automatic interrupt like you don't actually have to cast an interrupt spell that's pretty cool just make sure you get your attacks off soon it might be actually smart of me to, instead of casting a spell right away, to actually just go for an auto attack first to interrupt them. I'm going to try that next. Yeah, look at that. Party-wide enchantment. Alright, are we going the right way? Oh, we, we should go up this way, actually. I don't mind... Um... Say, I actually don't mind fighting. Oh, let's not double aggro there. Because we're getting close to level 20. And everything is already over level 20. So the more experience, the better, I think. Take this guy. He's harassing. He's harassing poor Claude. Use some deep wound epidemic there. Ah, I just got out of range of my epidemic. Aim. Looks like we over aggroed a bit. Can can uh can Lena protect us? That's the question. We need to be sure and keep an eye on whatever's attacking her. Because while she's running around, she does not actually cast spells. So. Claude's down. Big surprise. Let's just get off our blinding flash. Help F in there. Help Lena, importantly. We are going to pick up the hide, and we're going to be salvaging these. Because I think we get... Some good... Where'd they go? Some good materials. Hand hide. Uh, I think we need actually bolts of cloth. So, what gives us bolts of cloth? Probably the Seeker's Vest? No. Can't hide. Hmm. I want to start saving up for materials. One, either we can sell them for pretty good money. But two, we're getting close to our max armor sellers. And those are going to require money and materials I need to do more salvaging I realized I've been just like selling everything to the merchant which is not bad for money but definitely I think collecting materials is a little bit better in the long term Aha, that's why it told us to come over here. There's tons of Minotaur. Three more. Last three. Exactly how many we need. Take these guys out. I wish they grouped up a little bit more. Let's try and get them together. Boom. Epidemic. Yeah, nice. 
Double deep wound action. Check that guy out. I mean, I haven't quite... I haven't really noticed my... Uh, I haven't really been taking much damage. They keep going after my teammates, probably because they're under... They're lower level than I am. So I didn't really get to see our... Back to that. Oh, okay, so we finished this mission. We we need to go back to Argree Rock because we need to go to Skyward Reach now. Let's go ahead and return this and see what our skills are. Mant Mantra of Persistence and Obsidian Flame. No, that's not who we talked to. Who do we talk to? Oh, the Scarab. No. Marchina. That's who we talked to. Looks like I have a guild invitation. Is any any one of my uh, viewers, is this someone's guild? That I don't know who sent this or why they sent it. Sent it back like 10 days ago. I'm just now noticing it. Healer Mercy, do I know who you are? If so, leave a comment. I don't I don't I don't belong to any guild at the moment. Uh, let's see, what does this do? Any illusion magic hex you cast lasts 18% longer. That's pretty cool. I don't think I really need it because yeah, this one's very recastable. And this one I'm shattering anyway. But yeah, I'm sure that fits into some illusion builds. That's good to know. City and Flame deal 22 damage to target foe. This spell ignores armor. Wow, it's very low cast. Very easy way to get that overcast. Um, very low cost, very quick cooldown. I'm sure there's something to that. Uh, very cheap way to get very cheap overcast. So Obsidian Flame combined with some other... I'm sure, I'm sure that works into some cool builds. Not for us right now. Alright, let's go to... Into the... <laughs> into the unknown. Um, <laughs> isn't that like a Frozen song? Uh, we are gonna... Meet up with our friends. Devona, Aiden, Sin. All those cool people. Who am I missing? Menlo. They're only level 16, but three extra party members. That's pretty nice. Any collectors around here? Who is this guy collecting? Max damage weapons. Sweet. That's a very good staff. 2020 staff. Oh, Topaz qu cr quest. Topaz crests. I'm going to keep an eye on those. That's a very nice staff for us. 2020 staff. But it's specifically for domination. We might actually need to switch back to domination for something like that. Interrupt. Interrupt, please. What are you doing, Orion? Come on, get that knockdown off. I wish there was a way to know who the enemy is targeting because then I can um, distance myself if they're targeting me or send my teammates away. Let's try and get these just... Okay, he's targeting Stefan. That's good. But these are like point blank... AOE elementalists. Very deadly. They took out Devona. Did I fail? Devona's dead. How did she die? Wow, she got taken out. It doesn't say I failed. 
Sorry, Zavona. We're going on without you. We're going to miss some important dialogue. But we got to keep going. Maybe if Menlo picked up the pace a little bit, she wouldn't have died. It's all your fault, Menlo. Look at you walking so slowly. You let your friend pass away. Alright, hey Aiden, what's up? Trust the journey was not too harsh. Come, I have something to show you. Impressive. I assume that completing these trials will open the way for us. I'm sure a uh, Tavona is supposed to be saying something right now. Better open the way. I'm not spending any more time than is necessary in this forsaken desert. This is a good time for Reyna to be playing violin, I guess. Must truly be the work of the gods. I can sense the divine energy in the place, even at a distance. We should not linger here under the scorching sun. Best to find shade or some water. Yeah, if you rec you might recognize this rock from Guild Wars 2. If you play that, you can actually come here. You can go inside the rock. And there's some cool events in Guild Wars 2 about this. Alright, we finished it. Nice. Go back, return that. Nice, like 1500, 1,500 experience, something like that, to start this video off. What do we get? Arcane Conundrum. And Swirling Aura. Uh, okay, spells cast by target foe and all adjacent foes take twice as long to cast. That is awesome. When this hex ends, you gain five energy. That would be really nice against these, um, Hydra, actually. The two second casting time is kind of rough, but we do have fast casting. Let's use it instead of... Where should we use it? I want to try it out. Let's take a look at our skills, actually. Let's try and revamp our skill bar. Enchantment. For five seconds, you are enchanted with Swirling Aura. Have one health regeneration and a 50% chance to block projectiles. If you are overcast when you cast this spell, all party members in earshot are also enchanted. Whoa, that's cool. I do not remember this skill. But I'm pretty sure they changed this. This is there's no way this is the original skill. It's almost like a monk spell. Only for five seconds though. That's kind of lame. But still, a party wide, a party wide, it's essentially a monk protection spell. With it's like that Aegis spell is what it is. It's like a it's like Aegis but with health regen. That's pretty cool. So they really made elementalists the water the water magic kind of a um healing subclass, I guess. All right, now we shall go to the next mission area. I think we'll head north. I think it's somewhere up here. Hopefully we don't make it we don't get lost. Um but I will Let's try and revamp our skills a little bit. Let me pause the video here, and then we'll see what I come up with. Okay, we made some adjustments to our skill bar. I went for a pretty much only illusions. Changed up my build a little bit. I still have this domination mask on. I don't feel like changing that right now. Uh, but yeah, we're using fast casting, illusion, inspiration. We went for a kind of interrupt uh, fragility combo. Using inter our same fragility combo we, we have been doing minus the shatter uh, delusions. We added clumsiness to help uh, to help interrupt those attacker, those uh, melee mobs. And then we added some interrupts to block that meteor that's devastating us from the hydras. And I want to I want to make use of this arcane conundrum as well. So we'll see how this goes. We're all gonna keep. We're gonna give Lena another chance here. I wasn't that impressed with her, but maybe she'll shine with some interrupts helping mitigate some damage here. So here we go. We are looking for the next. 
uh, mission area. We're gonna head north up here. I'm not sure exactly where it's at, but we'll find it. I mean, it's a desert. No one gets lost in a desert, right? Right? <laughs> and there I go. Oh, okay. I, I interrupted the meteor that time. Let's use Arcane Conundrum on him. Very nice. So I'm I'm saving my interrupts. I should have put my leech signet in power. Oh yeah. Someone told us we can move. Wow, nice. I never knew you could do that. I remember a long time ago, Tar Heel mentioned you can change the skill bar by opening up your skills tab. We're gonna put our interrupts close together. I kept epidemic just in case. Yeah, I need to I need to there's a lot of stuff I need to monitor. I need to monitor what skill the opponent's using. I need to monitor if they uh, have a condition on them or not. And then I can use my Epidemic. Start off with Arcane Conundrum. Go. Look at all those interrupts. That is just... That is just infuriating, I'm sure. Oh, we don't need to go up this way. Go ahead and use it. Ooh, last second. Look we'll got the fireball off on us. Can I go up this way? This looks like a road. No, it's not. No roads in the desert. Oh, it looks like this is the way to go. If you like watching people get lost in the desert, this is the video for you. Oh, missed that. Wow, there's... Too fast, man. I need to start with Arcane Conundrum on these guys. This, yeah, it interrupts the attack and damages them. Really nice spell. I like the damage on that conundrum. Whoops. Shrivel die. There's got to be a collector for that. And this, the mesmers are kind of a counter to this build. It looks seem like they do a ton of damage. So this, this is where I wish we had Elysia actually. I'm pretty sure that's a dead end over there. Now that I'm looking at the map. Let's go up this way. Our party definitely does a lot of damage. But we're kind of glass cannoning it. Seems like. The longer a battle goes on. The... More likely, Claude is going to die, essentially. Cast. I don't really want to take on all these guys. We're not going to take every single battle. Okay. If they're alone, we'll take them out. Yeah, this is... I'm pretty sure this is the right way. This build, I'm very happy with this build against Hydras. Those interrupts are clutch, man. Starting off with Arcane Conundrum. And hit him with a couple interrupts. Dang. Well, I slowed down the spell. Nice interrupt there. I need to keep in mind that's an actually that's actually an AoE hex. Oh, it's adjacent foes, so I need to time it when they're together like that. Left. Middle right. Right. Middle left.
Whoa. Get that interrupt off. Nice. This is a nice build. I picked the right build, I think. Diviner, diviners, Divin, diviners, diviners ascent. This is the next mission area, right? Actually, it doesn't sound like a mission area. It sounds like an explorable area. Check it out, though. Whoa, it's so white here. I wish we had like a quest to tell us exactly where to go, but I think I think the developers kind of wanted the players to just explore and get lost in the desert. Mission accomplished, developers. Accomplished. Utilizing the map as much as possible. Generally, these teleporting places, though, are uh, key. A key to, um, or kind of like they're kind of like a. There's no road, but these kind of are a sign that you should probably use them. And I take you where you need to go, at least. Oh. Oh, I mistimed that. Really, with with Leech Signet, Power Drain, Arcane Conundrum, we have a ton of energy regeneration. Two, four, three, one. Two, four, three. One. I guess we'll go up to the salt flats. Oh, I didn't expect he got interrupted before I got a chance to use my interrupt. keep uh, clumsiness on these guys. Shield of the wing. Mm. Toy fool. We can salvage something. Mm. I don't like that you can't um like the way they programmed it is the the materials don't stack automatic like right away they need a you need an empty space in your inventory for them to go to first before they join your stack kind of annoying so you can't salvage when you have a full inventory it's like an easy fix they could have done The way to go it looks kind of like a road over here right but the arrow is up there oh alona reach that is the next mission area well we found it i'm glad i checked this first i thought i was gonna need to go all the way up there Let's see what this person's collecting. Minotaur horns. Do I have any? I've been, uh... I think I had been, uh... Salvaging them. Eh. Domination cane. We're using illusion now, man. Get with the times. Oh yeah, these are good. This is the first time the uh, collectors are really worth checking out because everything's max damage. Like, that's... 
That's like a perfect 2020 death magic staff. You could you could put that on a hero or use that yourself. It's a great one. I mean, if you're running smiting staff, that's a really nice staff to have. Okay. We're not going to be using that. So we can sell the Minotaur horns if we ever get them. The mission area. First mission area. Look at that. All right, we are going to conclude this episode here. Uh, I want to try and keep the vi the episode length a little bit shorter. I think an hour has been just a little bit too long for myself and probably viewers as well. So we did a nice little run from Augury Rock, did some quests, skill quests, and made it to our first mission area in the Crystal Desert. Join us next episode for that mission. Uh, I need to try to remember what it is, but... I remember these missions are pretty tough, so we'll try and get it done next episode. Anyway, thanks for watching, and until next time, bye!